mean, they're obviously uh, having some success. They're, you know, they're getting some wins, and it seems like they're playing well. I mean, other than you know, just a little bit you watch on film, it's, it's really about preparing for us this week. I mean, we had some uh, a <clears throat> couple things that we wanted to kind of shore up in in, in our game, and, and that's what we need to do to continue to progress and and get to a point, uh, you know, where we're playing our best hockey here towards the end of the year. It's, it's everything. I mean, we would have went into the weekend not thinking scoring was an issue. Um, I mean, you're always a little bit worried about it, but I mean, as far as getting, I mean, we're getting, you know, averaging three, just over three. I mean, that's up from where we were a couple of years ago. I think the big thing for us was our, was our goals against. And, you know, all of a sudden we go back into, you know, we get good goaltending and, you know, um, you know, I don't know if we were, again, as responsible as we needed to be without the puck, um, just on the goals that we gave up. But, you know, it's a, it's a process and, you know, you got to be able to deal with this the right way. I think that, you know, I told the guys, I said, if we would have won four in a row, I'd be telling you the same thing, that we need to get better and we need to work on this, work on this, work on this. So we're not changing our approach just because of where we're at and, you know, maybe over the last couple of weekends versus, you know, you could be on the other side of it. I mean, you still got to strive to get better every day and, and get better every week as a team. And, you know, certainly there's, there's always things you're going to find that you need to improve upon. And, you know, that's our job as coaches to put that plan together and, and work at those things. And, and the players got to come with the right attitude and the right work ethic. And, you know, we've had a good three days of practice. So we're excited to get going down there. We know the excitement that's around always playing against uh, Anchorage. And uh, our community, our university, and our players are excited to be a part of it. And I'm sure they're going to feel the same way down there. So um, in my six years here as a head coach and even prior to that, I mean, every game against uh, them is a, is a, is a dogfight. I mean, it's a, generally there's not many uh, goals separating us. A win and a loss, and there's been several ties over the years. So I expect a you know a hard-fought game, and, and it's going to come down to execution and obviously earning your earning your bounces and uh, going from there. The, you know we looked at. Uh, you know, going into the Michigan Tech weekend, I think that we uh, we felt like you know our goaltending nece wasn't necessarily costing us, but it wasn't also necessarily winning us games. And you know what, Sean had been working hard through through the preseason and through the season. He hadn't got an opportunity, and uh, we felt like you know his work that he was putting in during the weeks, and we were recognizing it. You know what I mean? And sometimes when you haven't played a goaltender for you know as long as he hadn't played, sometimes there's a uneasiness to make that decision. But you know what, I, I think it was a it was a good decision. I thought he played really well. He did. did what he needed to do to help our team have success last weekend. I think the one thing that it's done is it's, it's kind of, you get to this point in the first half, sometimes, you know, it's, you know, you start to get into that routine a little bit. So I think it's kind of sparked our goaltending. I think it's been good in practice. I think it's been, that helps our shooters, that helps our environment of our practice. So, um, you know, you got to go, you know, opportunity based and you get the opportunity, you go and take advantage of it. And I thought that he did a good job of that. Unfortunately, we didn't get him, you know, get him the goal support that, you know, maybe his effort in the net had but at the same time I thought that he did his job and you know this weekend we'll you know we're evaluating again this week I think all three goaltenders have, have competed hard this week and you know we've got to make a decision on who we're taking and then we've got to make a decision on who's starting so we'll make that decision after practice tomorrow. It's a, it's a different twist to it we're playing for points and it's four games um, I don't think that takes away from the fact that it's an Anchorage versus Fairbanks series and, and it brings you back to when you were a player and you played in those series and you've seen how full the buildings were you've seen the excitement in the communities on your campus you see the excitement in your locker room um, it's a fun thing to be a part I'm excited for our guys to go out and compete um, you know again I know Anchorage is uh, you know feeling the same way so that, that's what makes the beauty of the rivalry because it gets both gets the best of both teams and, and it creates for a real heck of a hockey game